Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials. Today we are going to start a tutorial series about Stardust, a modular 3D particle system for After Effects. A very powerful plugin use node-based interface to create standing effects. And in this first tutorial of the series, we are going to create these nice motion graphic particle bending effects as I'm going to cover some of Stara notes to get used to it. So let's get started. After we create your composition and create your background, let's create a new solid and call that star dust. You can call it whatever you want and hit OK and add star dust to this solid layer. So by adding Stardust, we have two nodes, Emir and Particle. You can see what's going on here. Turn off the background. And at zero, it's it start emitting and keep going. So what we want to do is in this tutorial is we have a type emitting. We are going to emit from text layer so we're going to create a text let's create now a and turn off visibility of this layer and go back to start as layer and change the type to text and mask and nothing happening yet because we need to change on layer properties selecting the layer where Stardust will emit. So we choose the A and you see the particles jump to where the text. So as you see, it's like starting creating the shape of the A, but there's only few particles. We need to crank that up to one, maybe 1000. And as you see, we have so many particles there, but they keep going because we need to change the speed. Let me put that five so they stay around uh, around the text. So let's create a new camera just to have more control and to see how this looks in 3D. So here we have the Starrust A have a depth, uh, not just flat. On Stardust, we're going to change the C to maybe just 50. We don't need too much depth there. And we are going to particle node and change life to 1.5 to 1.5. And the shape leave that circle and on particle properties uh, let's change the size to five uh, size random to give more random there you can see too much because we need to change particle color from solid to random from gradient and go to color gradient and you can create your own gradient or we can choose from the presets, which we are going to do. There's nice uh, gradient here. Going to change this one and hit apply. And we have this nice um, gradient here, as you see. Very cool looking uh, type. And over life, we're going to change the size of the, the particle over life. So they don't start like at the same size. So look what, see what happened. We're going to change uh, this uh, curve from fade in out. Going to change to that. You see it look nice. Like there's changing, changing on size over life. The same for opacity we can do, but as you see here, you can do something like that. As you see, going to have this nice looking but we're going to leave that uh, as it is on linear and we're going to add a shadow properties to that we're going to cast shadow so every particle here it's casting shadow very nice looking and we have uh, control of that shadow can make distance 
change that maybe just uh, 10 and the opacity for that shadow with that just there and also the blur uh, to make it softer so with that 100 for now and so we have set up the emir and particle and now we are going to add a node turbulence this node is very powerful uh, it's act like a uh, effectors what he's doing uh, we have here we need apply actual netting happen because we need to change what we want to affect in these uh, particles we have position scale color opacity and rotation we can change so see what happened when we change uh, the position offset to 50 so all the particles like offsetting on the x-axis we can choose choose which one to like uh, the effect happen for this position we can choose that leave that on normal and maybe give that just 10 we don't want too much to keep that or maybe more just to give variation but keep the the letter locking the shape of a so before and after we have some variation look at the edge here it's uh, we have some really nice variations there and you can change the noise scale and noise level so see what happened at zero nothing happened but when we put that more noise it's give us more scaling of like the scale of noise and we have levels and the amplitude look at what happened when we change the amplitude let's put that 100 and look what happened when we changed the amplitude and the frequency so we will leave that where it was and we are going to add a new node called field node um, it's very very powerful node it act like a cinema for the effectors actually um, here as we have here field type we have spheres box grid radial and so on and in the latest version we have here some switches as i see here you can see we can see the helpers of this field. I don't know where it is hiding. I have sphere here. It, there is it. We have the sphere. We need to change it. So let's look what happened when the sphere collide with the particles. Very, very cool. That's what make Star Wars very powerful. You have a lot of uh, very powerful notes that create very complex uh, effects, very easy. Uh, so for these tutorials, we are going to choose a band field. What band is doing, like the band we know, like bending uh, something. So like the bending happen here on the C axis we're going to change that to X and look what happened here we have like this layer and let's change the put that wrist so let's move actually the the A to make it put it there maybe at center and turn it off just so we have uh, to see well what happening on Stardust go back to field and when we change the band and see what happened it's keep banding there keep going so what we're going to do as we have here in this uh, example we just band the whole thing from uh, 
from center until it creates the shape of motion tile. So that's the same we're going to do here. Uh, actually going to keyframe the bound amount and put it at something like maybe 500 and then add zero and let's keyframe let's uh, easy ease those keyframes going to have something like that and we want to start uh, the bounding actually before so we have something like this so we have nice uh, animation of the layer A and the cool thing about Stardust that you can change actually the type see what when we're going back to the text and let's change that to motion and Stardust is going to update the text the whole text there with the particles and we can actually change the type the font you want and it's going to be applied to start us as well as you see here so let's choose this one and turn off the visibility of text layer and as you see start us just update text for us automatically and this is one of the powerful things about Stardust and so let's uh, preview this to see how it looks like as you see we have this nice motion using Stardust easy to create and you can actually animate your camera as you want and give it more depth using all the cool things of the camera motion and the camera settings like playing on the camera uh, dip to field to create a dip to field and all those cool stuff I'm not sure if you can see we have some uh, as you see we have some nice dip to field here so let's turn our background on and see how this looks like look very nice and clean and as you see this complicated animation was created very easily using stardust and stay tuned for more stardust tutorials coming soon and if you like this video please like and subscribe for more videos coming soon thank you for watching